just want to speak to him. Why? To upset him again. This is between Scott and me. It doesn't concern you. Of course it concerns me. I'm his mother and I don't want you or anybody else trying to make a fool of him. Zoe! Well, what does she want? Who? Oh, who cares what she wants? I do. Oh, Scott. Maybe I should have been more patient. Sweetheart, it was never going to work. And everyone could see that except for you. Morning. Morning. Morning, Eric. I bet you're going to miss me when I leave the B&B. Oh, you found somewhere. Yes, I have. What? Not back with him. When did all this happen? It's not happened quite, but, well, once I make him realise what he's missing, well, that won't take long. How can you be so sure? Because, Shelley, dear, men are like dogs. You just have to know where to scratch them. Laurel's attempted to make scones again. Do you want to try one? I think I'll pass. Well, they're not bad. Much better than the last batch. I'm going to go visit Mr Wilson. He's due out of hospital today. See you later. girlfriend's gone home to Ireland to see her parents. You'll have a face like a bloodhound till she comes back. Oh, sorry, Ashley. <laughs> OK, tell me what's happened. No, it's, it's ridiculous. It... I know he's young, but if I'd realised quite how immature he was... Zoe. I didn't want to sleep with him last night, and so he left. Well... That's his reaction to the occasional headache. It's a good job he found out now. You are sleeping together, aren't you? No. Do you intend to? And just how long did you think that would last? As a clergyman, I thought you might have seen my point of view. Sex isn't everything. I agree. But this is Scott Windsor we're talking about. The physical side of things may not be high on the list of your priorities. But I'm certain they're very close to the top of his. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Pack of nappies there and one of the banana desserts that he likes. Thanks. Now, look, you, you couldn't pick them up uh, lunchtime, could you? Only I, I wanted to get the ball rolling on this taxi licence. Well, I'm, I'm working, so we will have to have him. I've already asked that she's going somewhere with Bob. Well, can't you go another day? Well, no, I just... I, I want to crack on with the paperwork so I can start earning. You know, sooner the better. Well, yeah, for you, maybe, but I'm going to have to take the afternoon off work and Eric's going to do his nut. All right, I'll put it off. No, you go and sort it out. But next time, do me a favour and give me more than five minutes' notice. Thank you. What do you want? No, that's scrumpy. £3.50. That's daylight robbery. Take it or leave it. Well, I, I take it, but I've only got two quid. I'll buy you the rest later. How about you come back when you can pay for it? I hope you have bad luck all day. Well, the only bad luck I've had so far is standing downwind of you. Now, shoot. <laughs> well, I hope you've got enough money to pay for all that. And why wouldn't I? I'm not penniless yet, you know. In fact, there's one or two things I've forgot, so just you get busy ringing that lot through, yeah? Someone. I'll be back in a while. You're not going round to see her, are you? I've got some stuff to pick up. Oh, well, don't let her talk you round, Scott. No, I won't. I, I'll start looking for another place. Oh, good. In the meantime, is it all right if I stay here? Because it is, love. Hey, what's this? Slung you out already, is she? No one's talking to you. You never really stood a chance anyway, did you? I mean, let's face it, Scott. <laughs> you haven't really got what it is, have you? Pay no attention to her, Scott. She's another one who can't make up her mind whether she's Arthur or Martha. Do you love him? I like him. Mm -hmm. And how does he feel about you? I suppose he likes me too. Well, if you both like each other, why not just be friends? Because I've got used to having him around and I want him to stay. The house has felt so empty since Chris died. And what does Scott get out of this? Do you think it's fair to keep him living in hope for something that will never happen? I can't be on my own again.
How's that order coming along? You asked me that five minutes ago. Did I? Yeah. Your memory playing tricks on you, Eric. Still, I suppose it's to be expected in a man of your age. Mr Pollard? Yes? I know it's really short notice, but I was just wondering if I could leave a bit early today. What for? I need to go and pick TJ up. There's no one available to look after him this afternoon. But it's just this once, and I promise it won't happen again. See that it doesn't. I think I just asked for one of his kidneys. Take no notice, Don. His bark's worse than his bite. You've just got to learn where to scratch him. Isn't that right, Steph? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be working? Oh, I can with me throat as dry as the Sahara. Well, there you go. Oh. Why don't you do us a favour and get us a nice bottle of cider from the shop? I'm not allowed. I'm too young. Stick a bottle in your bag when no-one's looking. I'm not feeding for you. Look out, here comes the God Squad. Have either of you seen Ethan? No, I was looking for him myself, actually. Oh, anything I can help with? No. But if I see him, shall I give him a message? Nothing urgent. Just let me rang. You couldn't get us a drink, could you, River? A parched here. Certainly, Shadra. Milk and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are things working out at the B&B? &B? Well, it ain't the Ritz, but it beats waking up to your boat race across the breakfast table. Not that I should be staying there very long. Really? Hmm. I was looking to rent in the village, but, well, it's so expensive. So, realistically, I think I'm going to have to move to Otten. Oh, well, you no need to go that far. I know just the place, and it's not a stone's throw from you. In fact, it's where you belong. Oh, really? Hmm. Where's that, then? The retirement home on the Rubblesfield Road. So, come on, what's up? You've been kicked out? No, I walked out. I thought you wanted to make a go of it. I did. So what's up? You just don't fancy her anymore? Yeah, of course I do. I just got fed up of waiting. For what? Oh, I'm so stupid. She needed more time. You two have, uh, You have slept together, haven't you? I suppose it takes a while to get used to the idea of... switching teams. <laughs> what's there to get used to? Either she fancies you or she doesn't. Oi, what you up to? I hope you ain't onto one of those rude websites. I've heard of dodgy geezers like you getting online, pretending they look like Brad Pitt. If you must know, I'm trying to order my groceries. Ridiculously complicated. Hmm. Well, that's the trouble with the elderly. They're afraid of new technology. That my Aunt Edie. Gosh, she used to scream blue murder every time a piece of bread came out the toaster. Is there another reason for you interrupting me other than to mock me? Oh, yeah. The courier was backing up his van and he had a bit of a mishap. Oh, oh my God. Uh, it's only a wing mirror. Mm, that sounds just a job, mate. <laughs> All right, Bob. Thought it was your day off. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, usual, please. Same again for him. Mm, coming up. Nice one, Sid. Are oh, you a pint? In a bit. How are you doing? You can tell Mum I'm fine. And I'm not drowning my sorrows. Good. Good. She's just a bit worried about it. Yeah. No, no. You can tell her there's no need. Sorry things didn't work out with you and Zoe. Yeah, well, maybe it's for the best, eh? No one likes to be made a mug of, do they? I think I'll have my paint over there. Please, talk. Why? There's nothing more to say. You're not moving out. I think it's for the best. But you don't have to go. Zoe, it's, it's going to be hard enough working for you and visiting Jean without living there as well. Will you please just hear me Zoe, out? you made it very clear to me last night that you're not straight. So what does that make me, eh? A companion? I'm not going to be your lapdog, Zoe, and I'm not going to do separate rooms. Well, you've made your mind up. Yeah, I have. I'm going to pop by this afternoon and pick up some stuff. There's no point dragging it out, is there? Have you? 
Yeah, I wanted to give that back to you. All oh, right. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Well, a few more if you want to borrow them. Thanks. Do you fancy going for a coffee? No, sorry. i got to get to the church. I'm expecting a call. Well, from Neve. Yeah, actually. Yeah, she rang before, Ashley said. Right. All right, Debbie. Wondering if you might like to come to tea tonight. I can't. I've got homework. Well, that don't matter. I'll help you with it. It's French. Debbie? Suit yourself. Do you have to be so rude? She's a pain. She's your mother? Hiya, yeah. Was Paul all right about you leaving early? No, he wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Right. Two cream tea. Toasty coming in a minute. Donna! I've only got one pair of hands. What? Do me four teas and a coffee. There's a love. I can't. I'm trying to study. It'll only take you two minutes. You forget. I work for Rodney now. Oh, come back here, please, Donna. No way. I'll give you study leave. What'll be the point, Mum? I've been trying to study all afternoon, but with you screaming at me, I can't hear myself think. Well, I'll find you somewhere quiet. Rodney wouldn't give you time off to revise. Rodney pays me better than you do. And I'm trying to save for my holidays. Pay me what he does, and I might think about it. Well, I can't. I'm not a millionaire. Well, that's my final offer. Take it or leave it. I don't believe it. Held to ransom by my own flesh and blood. If you can't pay me what I'm worth, I'll have to find somebody else. Donna, come back. Donna! Do you have any idea how much it costs to replace wing mirrors these days? What's that lot doing here? Oh, I went into Otten for lunch and uh, I picked you up a few things. For me? Well, I do like to help out the aged now and again. Well, you brought far too much. <laughs> How am I going to eat all this on my own? Suppose you might have to come round this evening and give me a hand to eat it. I can't. Why not? Because unlike you, Eric, I have a full social calendar. I'll cook. Of course, if you're too busy here. All right. I'll cancel. Well, be a shame to let all that food go to waste, wouldn't mm. it? So how's Donna getting on at the barn? Well, she seems to be doing OK, apart from breaking a figurine in her first week. Oh, that was just an accident, that's all. Yeah. Just a bit nervous. Well, speak of the devil. Room and coat, please. Right. Heard uh, the news. About Scott and Zoe splitting up. Yeah. Yeah, shame, that. Too right. I'll never get a sports car at this rate. Well, I've noticed the way you've been looking at a certain... Uh, Lady in blue? So, so. What are you going to do about it? Well, that's easy for you to say. You won't be left with egg on your face if she says no. Well, life is one big gamble, Danny boy. All I know is, if you don't buy a ticket, you can't win the raffle. Cheat a hand. can manage on my own, thanks. I didn't mean to snap at you before. I'm sorry. Your uh, dad calmed down about the makeup yet, then? Oh, probably not. Well, if you want, you can keep it here. It's fine. I've hidden it in the washing machine and he never looked there. <laughs> yeah, I suppose the day Kane does his own washing, it'll make headline nude. I went to see Christopher yesterday. How did you manage that? Well, Zoe's allowed me to see him. I had a chat with her. Did you? So how is he? Well, he's dead cute. So he said he's a bit cranky, but he's fine with me. Must know him his sister, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he probably does. Three hours I spent in that queue. Stuck between some smelly beggar and some prat who just ranted down the phone at his wife. Three flaming hours. And what did they get? This poxy form. <laughs> Terry, I don't believe it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I just hope they can push this through quickly. I can't wait to be self-employed. All right. Can I get you another? Bob's just got me one, thanks. All right. I'll stay and talk, though, if you want. Uh, how was your first week at Bal? Great. Apart from smashing that figurine. Oh, it could have happened to anyone. You'd be fine. You're a natural. Yeah, you must be joking. 
Like a bull in a china shop. Yeah. Last time I saw that much broken crockery, I was on Aldi in Greece. <laughs> I know. I really enjoyed it tonight. Yeah, it was a right laugh. Do you want to do it again? I'd love to. Nice one. Well, if you don't like it, you can always eat somewhere else. Oh, no. I'll, I'll finish it if you've gone to the trouble of cooking it. Anyway, it's better than eating on your own, I suppose. Yes, and anyway, I suppose it's uh, as cheap to cook for two as for one. Hmm? Possibly. And anyway, it's, uh, it's a terrible waste, me living in a place like this all by myself. Is it? And it could be more economical if... Uh, if you move back in. Oh. If you say so. Well, you don't have to, is it? I don't mind at all. Oh, well, all right then. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Keys. Scott, please don't go. Jean will miss you, and it won't be the same without you. That's not enough. That's typical. First son of trouble, you running back to your mother. I wanted to make this work. You don't know how much. But I'm tired of waiting for you to give me the green light. Holding hands is all very well, but I have blood in my veins, not dust. What's that supposed to mean? You can end up a dried-up spinster if you want. But find yourself a bloke who's into knitting and collecting china, because I'm off. This hasn't been easy for me. Trying to change what I am. Well, it's not exactly been a barrel of laughs for me either. People making jokes about us, having to bite my tongue because I thought, no, we'll show them that they're wrong. I wanted this to go somewhere. Yes, so did I. Will you please just give me one more chance? Why? You don't want me. Not like that. It's not true. 